Good afternoon and welcome to day six of 12 days of Christmas. We are currently experiencing a snow day. This is what it looks like outside. Lots of snow, the snow stopped, but we got a good foot of snow. This is our first snow of the season. Of course, I'm so happy about it because I love snow. Now listen, I don't have a sled. I don't have any funky toys that I could play with out in the snow. So I would vlog about sledding or doing some snow activities, but I don't have any of those tools and I don't feel like driving to Walmart to go get anything. So this video is basically going to be a how-to video on how I edit my videos. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me, go outside, kind of explore. We're going to self-create a few transitions, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I use my Final Cut Pro X and how to add different effects. I'm gonna get my snowsuit on, and I'll catch you in a little bit. So. Before I continue on with this video, I first want to apologize for the delay. I know this is 12 days of Christmas and I'm supposed to be uploading every single day, but look, life gets in the way, things happen. So without further ado, I'm going to continue on with explaining how I edit my videos, which you saw in the beginning of this video was previously recorded. I'm going to show you right now how I edited that beginning portion and continuing on with this video, I will show you how I create my transition. This little gadget here, it's kind of like a, a cursor thing that goes across. This goes across the video and it kind of helps you keep track of things. I'm gonna drop the first file in. And just so I can familiarize you guys with how Final Cut Pro looks. So this is the volume you can adjust here. Select and blade, which is what we'll be using. The easiest way to click on these is to just use the letter A and the letter B. So when I'm trying to edit very quickly, I always click A and B to go back and forth. So you'll see. And I play the video by using the space bar. So I'm gonna play the video so you guys can see how I recorded the beginning of the video. There's a lot of times that I repeat myself just so I can say it the right way um, and then I end up just cutting it. So let me just show you guys. Good afternoon and welcome to Welcome to day six, day six of 12 days of Christmas. All right. Okay, so we're gonna stop it right here. Let's go back. I'm gonna use this beginning part. Good afternoon and welcome to, and I'm gonna stop it there. So I'm gonna click on B, the blade to cut right there. And then I'm gonna click A so we can take it off the blade. Welcome to day six, day six of 12 days of Christmas. So Hello. I think I like the second Welcome day Welcome to day six, day six of 12 days of Christmas. So, let's, so this we're gonna drag. Good afternoon and welcome to day six, day six. So. I stopped it here. This is the line that we're gonna drag this to. I can, all right, so if you click on this, um, you put the cursor over here, this changes the appearance of the timeline here. You can make the timeline larger. So that just, just so you can see what you're clipping. So we're just gonna make that larger. As you move it up, it kind of zooms in. And then it makes using the blade more precise. So let's go back to the beginning. Good afternoon and welcome to day six. Day six. So, day six. Sounds like we started it. Day six. I'm gonna move this over to cut it. Good afternoon and welcome to day six of twelve days of Christmas. So that's the end of that. Now we're gonna move on. All right. 
As you can see, I'm super awkward so, here. We are current. Sometimes I don't know what to say on camera, and I'm just like, uh, what's my next line? So there's a lot of, you'll see a lot of like air, a lot of just space being used of like breathing and not saying anything. So I like to cut as much as possible because I like the, the video to be very quick moving. Um, I think that if you leave too much air, people start to get bored or they're like, all right, what are you, what are you trying to say? So I like to cut it so that it's like a quick exchange, a quick sentence. Um, and I tried to cut out the ums and the likes and all of the extra filler words that I don't need to be using. So let's move on. We're going to move this blade a little bit more. Just trim it a little bit. Yes. So, so all of that space, we're going to just cut that down. This is Christmas. We are currently experiencing a snow day. This is what it looks like outside. Lots of snow. The snow stopped, but we got a good, probably foot of snow. Um, so there we go with the ums. We're gonna cut that a out. Foot of snow. And I'm gonna click. Click the blade. Make sure you cut it right where that line ended. You're gonna click A again. And you're gonna trim it. Um, this is our snow. This snow. Um, snow. Make sure it's nice and clean. We're gonna trim all of that. Um, snow. Um, this is our. No, this is our first snow of the season, and I'm so happy about it. Of course, I'm so happy about it. I like the second. I'm so happy about it. Of course, I'm so happy about it. So I'm gonna cut the first. I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy about it. And so we're gonna cut it here. Trim it. And of course, I'm so happy about it because I love snow. Now, at this point, I turn off the camera and then I. I start recording again. So, wherever this ends here, you see I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm gonna cut that, because y'all don't need to see that. We're gonna make it nice and clean. And, of course I'm so happy about it, because I love it. Cut it a little too much. You can always go back and widen it more. Because I love snow. Because I love snow. All right, let's watch the entire thing. Good afternoon and welcome to day six of 12 days of Christmas. We are currently experiencing a snow day. This is what it looks like outside. Lots of snow, the snow stopped, but we got a good, probably foot of snow. This is our first snow of the season. And of course I'm so happy about it because I love snow. So I think I want to cut out and because I don't think it's necessary. Season, of course. Let's just cut a little bit more. First snow of the season. Of course, I'm so happy about it. Snow of the season. Of course, I'm so happy about it because I love snow. I'm not going to continue on and show you how I edited every single second of the video because we'll be here all day. But that is the intro. The intro is finished. And that's exactly what you guys saw in the beginning of this video. So that's how I edited it. And the next part of the video is me going outside, which I'll show you right here. So as you guys can see, I'm dressed for the snow. I have my snowsuit on, which I got from a handy dandy thrift store. It's actually pretty dope. It's like a really cool vintage snowsuit. I can link the brand in the description but I have my goggles which I don't think I'll need I just think that they're cool um, and then I have my tripod I have my GoPro in case I'll need it I have my phone and my little remote control so I like to kind of start out my videos um, with a good thumbnail now your thumbnail should always be a wide photo. So if you take your thumbnail photo on your phone, 
I suggest that you take it this way and not this way. So that's where this tripod comes in handy. So I got this tripod from Amazon. I talked about this tripod in a previous video. I can link all the details below, but it came with a remote control. So the remote control Bluetooths to your phone and all you have to do is click a button and there is your photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this tripod somewhere in the snow um, with a really great background and I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos. Typically, if I'm doing a video and showing you guys something as a time lapse, I will speed it up myself. My camera does have the capability to do a time lapse, but in case you all have a camera that does not have that feature, I can show you here on Final Cut Pro how I would time lapse that period of time. This section, this entire section, is what I want to fast forward. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to slide this screen over. You're going to click this little clock here and click on fast. So I'm going to just speed it up times two to see what difference it makes. Yeah, I think I like it times two. Usually I use times four if I'm doing like a quick transition, um, but I think times two is just perfect enough. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna speed it up there. And then once I get towards the end of the video, you'll see I start talking again. So I'm gonna just stop that. Okay. I'm gonna blade trim it. And I'm just going to make this last little section when I'm talking, I'm going to turn it back to normal. Okay, so it's super cold. I'm going to go get some gloves. I'll be back. All right, we're just going to trim that when I'm turning off the camera. And then we're gonna add the next clip. Okay, we got some gloves. So it's getting dark so quick. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I think I'm done doing thumbnails. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I do some transitions. My one of my favorite transitions is the spinning transition. Now, if I'm ending a specific clip, I will say the last word. And then right after that, what I do is I spin the camera. So say I'm saying a sentence, the sky is blue, I'll spin the camera just like this. The sky is blue. After you spin, then you go on to the next location or the next clip. And in the beginning of that clip, you're going to spin again. So that was the end of the clip. And now I'm gonna move inside. I want to start the video in here, but I want to open up this video with the end of that transition so it looks smooth. So what I do is I stand in this spot, turn the camera around a couple of times, and then start my sentence. Just like this. The sky is blue. And then start my sentence. So going back to that sky is blue clip. The sky is blue. So I just put the spinning Turn clips the together times, and, then, and where I ended talking, blade I that right there and then times, that second spin when I start talking and then times, I'm going to blade it there. So between those two blades here and here. I'm going to speed these two spins up. I'm going to speed it up to eight. And let's see how it looks. Sky is blue. And then start my sentence. So you're going to select the two clips and you're going to 
go to volume and turn the volume all the way down to zero so that you don't hear that sped up high pitch noise. Blue. So we're gonna play it. Oh. And then start my sentence. So that's how I do the transition. Typically I'll point the camera outwards to the scenery so it looks a little bit more seamless. But because of the purpose of the video, I had the camera towards my face. But that's it for this video. I didn't want it to be too, too long. Stay tuned for part two where I'll be sharing how I create great thumbnails, what software I use, how to add text, how to make it look neat and eye-catching. I'll be using the same photos that I took in the snow in this video. If you guys have any questions or if you want to see more videos like this, comment down below. And of course, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.